Hey, hello. Yes, I know I need to do something about the lighting in here. How are you doing today? I think today's the 27th of April. It's a Tuesday. And yesterday, Bob and I got our second uh, shot, our second COVID-19 vaccine. And I'm doing okay. Just my fuss, my, my fossils, my muscles feel a little heavy. But other than that, I'm doing fine. And you know, drinking my water as usual. And Sunday, Bobby and Dave came over and uh, they, Bobby came to pick up his banjo and I'll show you a little bit of that right here. Bobby. Oh wait a minute, look, there's Bobby. So you can see it's it's a bit dirty. And there's yeah. Dave. I closed it up to bring it up here. So. Oh yeah. Let's see, what does the banjo look like? Yeah, it needs a, it needs a string. string. Yeah, it's no biggie. It's normal. That's that little mini string. Oh, the mini string. Is that a technical term? That's what I call it, the mini string. I forget what it's called. It's pretty. It's and a yeah, pretty they banjo. All, they're all rusted. Well, the strings are. They small. all have to come out. But Can I feel one. the... Yes. Mm -hmm. Is that your artwork? Yeah. yeah it's it. It's like, it know, looks cool. Like it. Looks like a it nice a, it pattern. It has a MacBook on it. And, a, and, a, oh. and an Apple too. Can't do anything with it. Come on. Can't play it. <laughs> <laughs> How was that? Was that fun? And I remember that a few days ago, I put up a video asking what instrument you think I have. Well, I actually have, well, we have a lot of instruments, but what instrument is mine? I actually have three instruments, but some of them are just a goof off one. But I had said in high school, I played piano and guitar. Not very well. And someone guessed that I play clarinet no i don't play the clarinet but my sister played the clarinet in high school and what was the other one there was another guess <laughs> oh banjo no no not banjo somebody said ukulele i do not play the ukulele but i think that would be fun i wouldn't mind to learn guitar again except for that it's hard to practice every day when you have arthritis so i don't know Anyway, I think I've showed you this instrument before, but let me get it set up. First of all, here's a hint. It comes in this. Well, this I bought this to hold it. Are you ready? Here they come. I need to adjust them because they're not, you can do this or you can do, um, you know, I used to belly dance, belly D, Egyptian belly dancing and, uh, play these sometimes. Like if you didn't have accompanying music, you could make your own beats as it were. And there's a couple that I like. Um, I'm not going to play them on here because it's so loud. It's so loud my camera was saying, push this button for concert recordings. <laughs> so I'm sorry if that was too loud for you. but And they need to be adjusted. So these aren't the kind that... Um, you've probably seen these at um, stores where, you know, costume stores. These aren't costume ones. These are real ones. They're made of thick brass. I don't know if you can tell. Um... They have like a design on them. I need to retie the ones for the top fingers because it's uh, it's very loose. See how loose it is? It's not supposed to be that loose, but I think it's funny that I have these because my mom in high school, she was in marching band and she played the cymbals. I used to make fun of her for it. <laughs> Because I'd say, do you ever play an instrument, Mom? She said, yeah, I played the cymbals. Okay. But, um, 
yeah, I can do this. I, maybe I'll do a video sometime and I can turn the sound down so you can he so you can hear some of the beats that I do. There's one that I like that's go goes do 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 bing do 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 bing. And then there's another one I like that goes do 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 ding do 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 ding. Okay, I know they sound similar, but it has to do, it goes with certain dance moves, you know. So <laughs> which I promised my kids I would never do belly dancing on video. Not that they watch my videos. They never watch. So. I still have some costumes. I know how to make costumes. Um, the, the dancer who trained me trained us to do, to make all our own stuff. I mean, besides the, like I have a sword, I have a dancing sword. I didn't make that. Um, but you know, uh, I kind of miss it, but I haven't really found a... I haven't done it in so long. I mean, I do it around the house sometimes, not in front of my kids, but... Yeah, and uh, I've choreographed some of my own dances, too. Um, I think that most dancers do. Maybe they don't. I don't know. Anyway, so if this is what you guessed... They're called Zills. I forgot to say that. Zills. Okay. And uh, in... Um, Flamenca dancing, they have something similar called castanetas, which castan castaneta just kind of means little basket. And they're, I think they're made of wood or something. I've never seen, well, I have seen castanetas up close, but I don't remember what they look like. So anyway, I put them in this little bag that has a scorpion on it because my sign is Scorpio. Just saying. Anyway, take these off. So, I do have some other instruments that I goof around with, and uh, I think I've shown some of them to you before. One of them is a tiny little drum. It's like this big, but it's just to do a little bit of beats when I just want to sit around and hit something. Um, and I have this instrument that we got. When we were in Mexico, we were on the Yucatan Peninsula, which is where the Mayans live, and we went to see the Mayan ruins, and... Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. I guess you would call them the descendants of Mayans, but they have they have the Mayan um, DNA, so that's what the tour guides told us. But anyway, they make these they make these instruments down there that are different whistles, okay? And um, they imitate different animals. Like one is like a a cougar or something. I think my husband got the cougar one, which. I mean, when you hear it outside in the jungle, which is kind of jungly there, I don't explain it. Like, there's houses and stuff around, but the, the vegetation is jungle vegetation. It's a unique area because there's these, I don't want to go into, I don't want to go into specifics, but there's like these little holes, I forget what they're called, but there's these holes from caves underneath, I guess the way that the, the earth is formed, that water comes down when you go down into it, there's like plants growing around and you can see the sun up there and there's like a pool of water in the middle. It's really pretty. Um, anyway, the, the Mayan descendants there, a lot of them make these whistles and um, one of them, there's like a famous one that's called like the death whistle or something. I think it used to get played at funerals or something. We didn't get that. Um, I got the owl one because I love owls, so maybe I'll play that sometime. Maybe I'll have Bob play the, I think he got the puma or the whatever it was. So they have like at least four different kinds of whistles. Like one I think sounds like a frog, I don't remember. But they're, I don't know what they're made of, some kind of clay and they have beautiful designs on the outside and they're hand painted. So if you ever go down there, if you're ever on the Yucatan Peninsula and you're like, what should I buy here? Cause they're all selling, so listen, they're gonna say just a dollar for everything. And I don't think they speak a lot of English. Somebody probably told them it was a good idea to say just a dollar, but they're talking about the refrigerator magnets. Most of the other stuff, some of it is stuff that's made for that area and some of it is stuff made by local people. And these whistles are one of those things. So I would suggest if you go there to buy those because they're very unique. Anyway, so I have to take the dog to the vet today. It's his regular checkup. He has to go like every six months, I guess, because he had bone cancer. 
So he's gonna have some blood drawn, but I need his ear looked at because I'm having trouble keeping it clean. He's a beagle. I don't know, they have these really deep ears and I'm having trouble keeping the one clean and I don't know what's going on. So have that looked at and get his nails clipped. So that'll be good. And then today, the person who's going to pick up the rocks is supposed to show up after five. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, <laughs> that's all I got for today. I hope you're having a good day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.